Hello, 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 it's only me, me bog. Someone said to me, well, if you don't like showing the old bog off, shut the door. And I did say to her, well, I would if I had one. There is no door. Can you hear me spray pumping out there? My Stacey Solomon from my bargains. Yeah, no, there isn't a door. Now, I prefer me shabby chic this side, but then I have to try and put me, um, what's this thing, me bobbiny boo on there, the uh, ring light on uh, like my laundry basket. It just wasn't the right height, I'm afraid. Do you know what I mean? And if you're worrying what, we're not worrying, if you're wondering what all this is behind here, all right, I usually have the store shut. Um, that's Vinted Hall Part 2, but it's all up in that bag. And I leave it in a bag because it, I'm not going to put it in my laundry basket because obviously I've got to show you guys. So once I've shown you, it can get washed. It can get washed. It can get washed. I'm sweating my pancakes. I've got a very small bunch of coconut. Do you know what I mean? I've got to tell you something that happened before I get on with anything. I have got a charity shop haul for you today. An absolutely mega banging one. I'm not even joking. <coughs> I don't know, I keep getting frog in my throat as well. But uh, let's tell you so. Uh, what's today? Thursday. Tuesday, I had my Specsavers appointment because the old uh, mince pies, they're just a bit, you know, I thought we need to get them sorted. I've been threatening to go and I was like, okay, so I'm going to go. So I've had an appointment. Anyway. Um, I drive the car and uh, off I go and as I'm walking up towards um, where my spec saves is, I hear, uh, Oi, miss, excuse me, miss, Oi, miss, miss, he turned around, it's a young boy, maybe, I don't know, 15, 16, 17, I don't know, so I went, yeah, he said, can you help me? I said, well, like if I can, I said, what's the matter? So he said, right, so anyway... I'm gonna do some accents. <laughs> I'm not the best at them, but I've got to do it when I get in the for when I get in the shop. Otherwise, you know. So let's say, right, let's say me. This is this is his vape, right? This is a vape. So he says to me, this vape. He said it cost me fifteen pounds. He said, well, he said I got it home, and he said it didn't work properly, so I bought it back. He said so. I took it into the shop. He said and. Um, he exchanged it for another one but as I've got outside he said that broke as well he said so I took it back into the shop but he's refusing to give me a third one so he said would you go in there for me I thought bleeding all right in it oh, and I was late for my Specsavers appointment because of doing a good deed anyhow so um, I went oh give it here so I went to him anyway so I've gone in there and I don't know where they were from Oh, but lovely, lovely fella he was. <laughs> Anyhow, I, oh, I just thought, well, so I, anyway, I just had to say, because actually the boy said, say you're my mum's friend or I'm your stepson. So I thought, oh, for God's sake. Anyway, so I went in. I said, I wonder if you could help me. I said, uh, my friend, what did I say? My friend's son bought this from you, but he's saying it doesn't work and you've said he can't come back in the shop. He said, darling... <laughs> He spoke to me, darling, he said, he bought one vape, he said to me, yeah, he said, and he go away, he come back, and because he was coming from far, I feel bad, so I give him another vape, he smoked the vape in the shop, and he go outside, I say, check vape working, he says, vape is working, so... I see he's working. He goes from kindness of my heart. I give him web number two. So I said, I mean, he didn't call, talk quite like that. But there was an accent. Don't ask me to do accents, all right? I can do some though, all right? Maybe just not this one. So um, ever so nice fella. Though. Anyway, so I said, I said, I get what you're saying. I said, uh, but you know, he's in, but what I think actually, I've got to be honest, I do think the little sword was up to no good. All right, what I think he'd done is I think maybe he'd had this vape before. As he told me, the electronic 
component inside he felt had blown up. Now, I don't smoke vape, so I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. I just went and relayed what he had said to this fella. But I'm not sure this young boy was trying to pull a fast one because I reckon he may have had, he may well have had the vape, but it, it was old and it's still the same. It, like, you know, they make the same vapes and he was trying to get a fr like one for free, like for 15 quid. So he said, so I give him his smoking shop, he live, now say, is broke. So I said, well, I said, I'm just telling you what he said. He said, oh, this is cost me money, but you can choose five pound one for free. I give him. I went, all right. I said, we'll do that. Anyway, so I'm thinking I've done all good, didn't I? So I've come out onto the, uh, well, we, ow, shook up this shook. So he's waiting like when you come out the shop, there's like a, a clock tower thing. So he's sitting there and like there's a, near there is like a, a costa. So he's sitting like between the clock tower and this costa. Anyhow, I've gone over to him and I went to him. I said, listen, I tried, darling, but no such luck. I said, he, you know, he said that you, he give you a second one and you tried it in the shop. So it was working in the shop. You've left. He, out of the kindness of his heart, he'd give you the second one because you said you'd come travelled, you know, a little way to you know come and get it um i said but the best he can do is give, <laughs> the best he can do is give you this one for a fiver because that was working and like i said i do think he was putting a fast one this is what he done to me he went to me kissed his teeth at me like that not thanks not well, cheers for doing that for anything just i thought you little sod yeah, excuse me, miss. Tell you, I'll think about it before I help out someone else in the old It's the thanks you get. <laughs> I thought, oh, little sod. But anyway, I got him another one for a fiver, but I do think he was trying to put a fast one. I do think that he was just maybe had an old one, like a couple of them, he's kept them, then goes and buys the exact same rep replica, then goes back in the shop making out it's not working, so he gets a free one. I'm thinking that's what he might have done. Um, but yeah, so he had me right at it. Anyway, went and got me uh, eyes tested, and yes, they are a bit worse, they said. Not a lot, they said they're kind of similar, but the prescription's changed. So um, I've got myself a couple of nice glasses, so you might be seeing them. I've got to pick them up on Tuesday. If it's the throne, uh, and yeah, they were really, really nice. But anyway, I've been to um, the charity shop today. I asked Paul if he would give me a lift, which obviously he kindly, uh, I don't know, you said declined. Declined means no, isn't it? He kindly said okay. Um, and um, yeah, because I've got like a, a my trolley and I find it hard to get it up and down the stairs because there's not many stairs here, but it really hurts my knees. I mean, it really really hurts my knees so I do need help I'll either ask Callie or I'll uh, ask Paul to help me because there's so many things I just I just can't do <sighs> should get the violins out <laughs> that's the violins for me because I'm so sad for myself <laughs> anyway anyhow anyhow you know that time of day don't you before I get on with this amazing charity shop all because I'm really pleased with it today um, when I say I got some bargs, you are not going to believe the bargs, all right? But before I do... Oh, God! Lisa, wipe your glasses when you've got cream all over. I just don't. I do this all the time. I tell you what, every night, yeah, because I like to watch... Here, do you know what, right? I don't know. I don't know if this is just me. Now, and then, like, you could say that. Well, come on, Lise. Come on. But you've not got enough subscribers. So maybe if I had, I don't know, 30,000 subscribers or 40,000 subscribers, maybe I would find it hard. But I do get back to every comment that is made to me. Every comment I do, yeah? And if I have missed any, like I say, there's sometimes I've gone in. I mean, I ch it was a few days ago and I think I checked. Uh, I don't even know what I went into it for. And I just was like, oh, there's two comments there. And I've never seen them. They've been there for a few weeks. So I did you know get straight back but i think if you are a youtuber and people commenting on you even if you can't be bothered to write anything back to them just do a love heart or something i just personally find it rude and there's a couple of youtubers that i watch and i don't often comment 
but I have commented maybe once or twice and I don't even put a heart and get back to you. I just find that rude. Um, and I know they, you know, they, they might say, well, I've got all these subscribers and I physically can't get back to everyone. And I do get that too, I do. But literally, I think if you just give everyone a heart, you know, it'll do it pretty quick. So, um, yeah. Get back to your people that are writing to ya, alright? Not that any of these probably watch me, but... Uh, anyway, th there is a couple that I watch. One is a mukbanger. One, uh, a couple of the others do do hauls like I do. Um, but every night I watch this lady. She's called Rebecca Rebecca's ASMR. And it's funny because when I was, when I was young and I went to school... Actually, that's a lie. I didn't go to school. I was a nightmare. I didn't go to school. I, I never went to school. I got kicked out at 13 from secondary school and went to a unit for problem children. I wasn't a problem child. I just didn't like school. And back in them days, you'd get the school board knock on the door and they'd say, why ain't your kid in school? Oh, I'm sorry, they ain't been well. But I'll make sure they're in Monday. My mother would send me in on a Monday and by the Tuesday, I weren't there again. That's just how it was. I just didn't like school. But why was I telling you this? Oh no, why was I telling you this? Oh, that was it, about the ASMR. Anyway, when I did go to school, sometimes when, you know like you'd have someone sitting next to you and, and they had felt tips or colouring pencils. Oh, by the way, my nails come off so I've got to repair them later and do some infills. Anyway, when people would rummage through their pencil case, I'd nod off. The sound of the felt tips going together, clanking together, would make me go to sleep. Well, anyway, I found this lady. I've been watching her for ages. Let me tell you, I think she's got about 70,000 bloody... Uh, 70 million or something, or 70,000, I don't know what it is, um, on her channel, just on this one particular. Well, I reckon they're all me, because I cannot sleep without her, and I listen to her all night long. So what you do, you go into settings, and you, you click loop off, so the loop is on, and it just loops the video all night long. Um, and I literally, literally um, listen to it all night long. So I, if you're into stuff like that, check her out. Rebecca's ASMR. She is an American lady and I think she is marvellous. Marvellous, marvellous. So I watch her pen and pencil rummage. I don't watch it. I literally put it on within a second and I'm, I'm out. She also does a makeup rummage. So I like the sounds of the makeup as well. If I hear that as well. That's it. Rain. Rain, but mainly her pencil and pen rummage. Oh, I've never heard of it. Oh, it's so relaxing. It's just be it's beautiful. It's beautiful is the only word I have. Beautiful. All right. So, yeah. What was I saying? My Axel's calling me. Mom, you're going to in a minute. Shut up. I'm trying to watch telly. But, um, yeah, so... Rebecca's Rebecca's ASMR and uh, she's got a big following and I can see why because she is the best ASMR on the planet also there's another one I watch I think she's called Lucia's Splendors and she does jewellery jars um, and um, oh, I do love a good jewellery jar as well you can't get jewellery jars over here but in America they've got the Goodwill stores and they all go to them and get the Goodwill uh, jars and I absolutely love a jewellery jar so I watch them as well um, so yeah, anyway, I'm waffling on, waffling on, talking absolute C-R-A-P, can I get a ooh, ooh, anyway, you know that time of day, I said you know that time of day, it's my joke time, so, what do fish say when they hit a concrete wall, damn, this is a knock knock, who's their joke? I like this one. Knock, knock. Alabama. Anybody with you? Nope. I'm Alabama myself. <laughs> I'm Alabama myself. I'm, I like it. Come on. Come on. That's a good one. All right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Control freak. And now you say, control freak who? All right? <laughs> get the cups. <laughs> I don't know if you even get them ones, do you? You know, I mean, I don't know how many of you watch me that are from other countries, but, do you know, not all of us have the same old sense of humour. And sometimes I might say things and, uh, 
you, oh, so I'm just scribbling out what I've done because I told you I'd do a lot of research, all right. But you might be like, what's she going on about? That ain't even funny. But anyway, you know that time of day. I said, you know that time of day. It's 1,227 facts to blow your socks off. And I'll tell you what, sometimes they do blow my socks off and sometimes I don't. Now, my insides of the backs of my knees are sweating. So I'm spreading my legs. I'm spread eagle now. I tell you, I bet you're glad you ain't sitting on the floor in front of me. Ooh! Tell ya. Anyway, are you ready? What? I've just seen some. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to read it just yet, but I've just seen the word penis. <laughs> now it's got me really intrigued. Okay. The 10 million ants in the world weigh about the same as all the human beings. Sorry, the 10,000 trillion ants in the world weigh about the same as all the human beings well i never strip me naked and call me fatty i just i'd never have thought that tell you right if the five trillion spiders in the netherlands took to eating humans rather than insects they'd consume all 16.7 million dutch people in just three days <sighs> could you imagine if all of a sudden they're like you know what we're sick to death of being treated as second-class citizens just because we're spiders with eight legs and four eyes or whatever they got, or eight eyes, six eyes, I don't know how many eyes they've got, but they've got more than two, all right? And then they're like, so you know what? We're just going to eat you. We are. We are going to open up our tiny little mouths and eat you for breakfast, lunch and dinner. All right. Just imagine. Oh, I'm really sweating my over some small boobies off. Right, Alfred Kinsey, however this may be, oh, is the author of Sexual Behaviour in the Human Male. Sexual Behaviour in the Human Male. I'll tell you the sexual behaviour for any human male. All they need to see is a vag. And that's where it ends, all right? Any port in the storm, any hole is a goal. I'm 50, I've been around a lot and I know, all right? No, they ain't got a type. Any old's a goal. Sorry for any men that watching. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> okay, we'll start this again. Alfred Kinsey, author of Sexual Behaviour in the Human Mal, 1948, had a collection, I'm going to do this all posh, of five million wasps and could insert a toothbrush into his penis. Bristle end first. What? Biologically speaking, bugs are insects that suck. All right, hang on. Rewind. When the crowd say bulb, say lecter. Let me rewind. Alfred Kinsey, author of Sexual Behaviour in the Human Male, 94, had a collection of five million wasps and could insert a toothbrush into his penis. Bristle end first. Alfred Kinsey, you nasty. All right. You nasty. Why would you want to insert a toothbrush into the end of your bleeding penis? I'm sure it was bleeding after he bleed and put bristle end in first. Listen, what do, who sits there and thinks, mm, what shall I do today? Oh, light bulb, I know. I'm going to get a toothbrush and shove it down the end of my penis. Oh, happy days. <laughs> what the hell? Sorry, I sound like Muttley. Remember Dastardly and Muttley? Oh, well, I'll tell you, that was educational today, I'll tell you. Oh, I scribbled that one out because obviously we can't go over it again, can we? Anyway, listen, I've been jibber-jabbering too much. So, time to get on with the haul. I've got a So, here we go. Anyway, I can't show you these, all right? Because it's family, oh, family friendly. But there's stuff that you put in your mouth and smoke comes out of it. They're not for me, they're for somebody else. They're for my mother and her friend. Okay, okay. Anyway, so let's see where I started off today. So I started off in St. Elizabeth's and I looked on the pound rail. There was nothing for this voluptuous figure there today. Oh, no, there weren't. But there was stuff that would, uh, well, this might be a bit big for my sister, but I thought a couple of bits that would fit her. Um, and they were quid. And as I say, you can't go wrong. So this was the pound size 12 and uh it's miss pap it looks brand new to me and it's like ruchy it's like a dress like you know for the beach with these ruchy sides why am i itching oh 
Oh, maybe when I old things, I think of fleas. I don't know. But anyway, yes, it's got like this ruching at the side, as you can see. Um, yeah, so I got her that. That's a squid. Come on, you can't go wrong, can't go wrong. So I got that from ta It is brand new. Actually, it's got that brand new smell. I just smelt it as I wafted it past the schnoz bucket. Uh, and then I got her this. So this is from Topshop and Slice of Size 10. And that was also a squid from St. Elizabeth's. And it's a nice little beach dress, look, for your holes. So it ties up at the front there. And you see, she's lucky. She can show her bucket because she ain't got a bucket. Now, if I put that on, I'd have two bits of buckets sticking out. You'd think I'd have four boobs. She'd, you'd, they'd say, that girl's got four titsalinas on. I'd be like, yeah, bet you won't. <laughs> yeah, so I couldn't wear anything like that. Because you imagine me in that. Oh, just look awful. So I got all that for a pound. So that's really nice. Then I got all this. Uh, and that's an extra small and that was also a pound from St Elizabeth's and I don't know if it's a cup of tea but you know even for just lounging around so it's like oh, come on for a quid so this bit's elastic and then it goes into like trousers so it's just like a little um, jumpsuit you see oh, I think that's quite cute little jumpsuit but come on a pound you can't go wrong bleeding wrong can you so that was from, uh, yeah, St. Elizabeth's. Anyway, then we come out of St. Oh, no, 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 no. I did buy this as well. Hang on. Um, it is was 50p from St. Elizabeth's. And it's just like a little tumbler with diamantes around it. But I don't need it for my bedroom. It ain't for in there at all. I'm going to use it. It's an ashtray, yeah. Because when my mum comes round, they're like... Um, with, and her no friends round as well, and they're out on the balcony. Been like a couple of steam trains, do you know what I mean? So I thought, I'm gonna use that as an ashtray. Why not? 50p. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Sing along with me, you can't go wrong. Anyway, swiftly moving on. Uh, oh, right. No, no, no. Hang on, where was this from? Oh, no, that's all right. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, anyway, so then I went into Keech. And when I say bargain of a lifetime, all right? Bargain of a lifetime. So, the lady, I just put these out. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Now, the thing is, I've been into these shops before, Andy. There's a lot of rich people live around here and a lot of footballers. I reckon they buy things and they're like, ah, I just don't want it. And they just chuck it in the charity shop. These are brand new. I can't, I'm, I'm still in shock, to be quite honest with you. Right, so, I got, it was a set of three with lids, yeah? And she wanted 15 quid to start with. These are Judge. Now, when I looked online... One of these alone is about 60 quid. So for the set of three, you're looking at about 160 quid. So she wanted 15, as you can see, but she scribbled it out because I said to her, look, can't you just take a bit off, like a couple of quid? Because I really needed some new saucepans, I mean so badly. And they are brand spanking new, look. So she went, oh, but love, they are judged. I said, darling, I know. I said, but I want them, and I just think it's a... She said, what are you thinking? You know, what price are you think? I went, 13. I thought, I don't want to take the pee, you know. I, could, I should have said to her, really, 10. She was really easy. She went, all right, love. So, anyway, there's the big one, like so. And um, where's the lid? Liddy, liddy, lose. There's the lid. So that I got this size. Remember, three for 13 quid, and they're judged. Go online and have a look. You <clears throat> will not believe it, okay? Then I got, so I'm just putting the lids on them, uh, this size, again, so I just got a bit of me bling thingy in there, um, again, so there's that size, judge, come on, you can't go, how can you go wrong, and then last but not least, the smaller one, and even the small one isn't small, look, and I'm thinking, you know, you can do I'm not, there were nothing I can't cook in there. I could do rice, I could do casseroles, like big stews. I don't think I've ever had a pot that big. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. £13 for free, brand new, Judge saucepans. Go online and have a look how much they are. Yeah, 
Now tell me that ain't the bargain of the century. All right. Bargain of the century. Um, yeah, so I got them. Because I really needed them. And you try and go and get one saucepan for 13 quid. Even a crap one. It ain't happening. I can't believe it. I tell you, I'm still in shock. I'm like that. <laughs> I gotta tell you something. I'm sorry. I was. I always cut. I always end up saying something. Did I? That reminds me. Years ago, when Callie was at school, I mean, she was only like five, four or five. There was a little girl in her class, um, and her name was Candice. And uh, her dad used to drop her to school. Yeah, her dad used to drop her to school, and he always used to talk. <laughs> He was just to talk to me and my sister, right? Anyway, one day he said to me, he he lived in Edmonton, right? Obviously, like North London, right? So he said to me, um, he went, yeah, he said, oh, I couldn't believe it. He can't, I couldn't believe it. So apparently some of his gold got stolen, yeah? <laughs> so he said, I couldn't believe it. He said, oh, I was, uh, he said, I was, oh, I see this jewellers in Edmonton, right? He did say where it was, but I don't actually want to say because, uh, well, I suppose I could. But anyway, it was just to say it was in Edmonton, right? He said, and I've walked past the jewellers. He said, and I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe my eyes. My jewellery was in the window that someone had stole. He said, and I was just like, He'd done it for five minutes with my phone, but me and my sister were like, we're looking at each other like this. <laughs> I'm thinking, where's he going to shut his mouth? <laughs> so now, me and her, I'm so hot, I'm laughing. Me and Tammy have a joke now, and if something shocks us, I will just say to her, I was like Candice's dad, and she knows. Anyway, moving on. Honestly, five minutes, he must have been that. Huh? I'm sweating. I need my fan. Callie, bring me my fan. Um, anyway, so the next thing I <clears throat> got was from Age UK. And, of course, when I see it, but it is missing a little flower there, you know. But I'm sure I can doctor it up. Yeah, I can. If I've done it already, you can't see. And I thought it was really pretty. It was £1.99, but the price has fallen off. Um, to go with me shabby, innit? Yeah, cute, huh? Little flowers in and little diamond. I think it's ever so pretty. So I thought, right, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. I am, and I did. So yeah, one ninety nine. Uh, then I went to the Fertility Foundation, and in there, so this was, this is brand new. It was four pounds from our good old Primarni, and they add it up for two, and it's just a scarf. With, um, I just liked that on the end of it, you know, this lovely, like, thing. So I thought, yeah, when that's, do you know, I'm wondering how I can wash that. I suppose I can. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll put it in Callie's little laundry. You know, her little tiny machine, because I don't want to ruin it, but it's got to be washed. Even though it's brand new, it's come from the charity shop, and, you know, I'm just, just not up for that. So, yeah, I've got that for £2. I think it's really nice. Nice for the winter, isn't it? Like, you know, as a scarf or whatever. Knowing me, I'll interwave, I'll interwave in it. Woven it, I'll wave it. Oh, shut up, Lisa. I'll woven it, woven it in... Yeah. Anyway, and then while we was in there, because obviously Paul was with me, because um, I needed his help. He is good like that, bless his little heart. Um, he see these cargo trousers that he likes. So I just said, do you mind if I just chuck them in my own and show them? So they're a large and they're called Cuff Jogger from Denim Co. So there was £4.50 paid for them. And they're just like green cargo trousers. Like that. So they're really nice, aren't they? Like that. So yeah, I've got them as well. Well, I never got them. You got them uh, from the Fertility Foundation. And then I see this, and I was like, "Oh my goodness! Brand new, brand spanking new, 
Ted Baker bag, eight pounds. Look at that. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it's got the TB on the front, really big writing, look. And let me open it. Let me open it, you know. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, hang on. Is that a price I see? Hmm. No, no. I told you, it's all footballers around here. Their wives buy things. Oh, I don't want that anymore. Good for me, though. No, it's just showing that it's leather. And it's just... Oh, it's beautiful. And it's just showing that... Um, oh, what is it? Look. Just showing that's what it is. And I'm going to check online how much it is. How much it would have been. But I can assure you it would have been more than eight quid. So I've got that. I love it. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I know. I know. I really have really have got some nice bits today. I'm very ever so pleased. I'm ever so pleased. All right. Let's see. I'll put it back. And look at that. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm loving it. Loving it. Loving it. I'm loving it like this. I'm loving it. Loving it. Loving it. And then, well, what I do, now, I used to do this when I used to go to Bovy. Now, Bovy was a market, um, and it's closed down. All these, do you know why they closed it down? Because everything there was Snides, all right? It was Snide City. So, you'd see me, I've got my Gucci bag, all right? And I've got my Louis Vuitton. And I'm walking around like I think I'm the, the bee's knees, but I'm not. Because I'm poor as a church mouse, and they're all... Uh, Snidos, but anyway, what happened? Oh, I can't take this heat. Um, they closed down because of sh stupid trading standards. Sometimes you'd be there and you'd hear someone say the trading standards are here, and I don't know they did it so quick. I'm sure they had like crappy things glued underneath their pacing table and they'd whack it and the table would turn round and it'd just be all things that were just like normal t-shirts and stuff like that um so they'd try and then put the snide stuff away it was impossible but i got a lot of my bling stuff from there like my all my chanel stuff that you see was from bovington so we call it bovy anyone who goes to bovy anyone who goes to bovington market call it calls it bovy has anyone who watches my channel been to Bovy? Please tell me if you have. I'd be very interested to know if you've been Bovy. But anyway, then I heard they were moving it to North Weald, which is Arlow, North Weald Airfield. And I used to go North Weald years ago before Bovy, and that was pretty good. That had all the snides and all and stuff like that. But um, anyway, what I used to do was I would... so. When I get any two peas and one peas, five peas, ten peas, you know, whatever, I put them in these tins, all right? Um, and then when the tin is filled up to the top, you just get your can opener. And it was two quid, but I got it for a pound because I was moaning and saying they're two quid in the shops. And this is in a charity shop. Don't take the Uncle Birches with me. Ever so nice in there though, ever so nice, ever so nice. Anyway, so um, yeah, so like I say, so what I do, I'll fill it up to the top with all my pennies. <gasps> it's echoing, hello. Um, yeah, so fill it up with um, all my pennies, like my one piece, five piece, ten piece, lardy bleeding dandy. And then you go to the, oh, what's it called? In old good old Morrison's and that, they have like coin stars. That's what they're called, coin stars. So you rip, obviously, cut it open and then you pour all your pennies and that. And I tell you what, if I were you, look down your sofas, all right? Not that there's any down my sofa because they're all in these dins. But look down your sofas or, do you know, don't ever think, oh, it's just pennies. You keep it, look, I've got this one. Oh, I can't even lift it. See, this is filled now, and that's why it's get that. Shrapnel, mate. Shrapnel. But let me tell you, that shrapnel turns into pounds. And the pounds turn into notes. And then you're like, are you serious? Just these one piece, two piece, five piece, and ten piece. And even sometimes I'll chuck a 20 if I've got it, or 50p. You do not, you'll never believe the amount it mounts up to. It mounts up to. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, listen. I hope you've enjoyed my video today. I'm so hot, I'm gonna be like Candice's dad. <laughs> Woohoo! 
anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video um i'm really hot um my belly is really playing me up today i'm sure you all didn't want to know about me nevers but i've got to tell you my belly's really bad and just as well i'm about to sign off because um i'm getting the gurgle and it's working its way around and I've had to change my pharmacy over. I'm so sick to death of my ailments. Can someone please make me better? Please, can you do some prayers? Or can you do, say, you're going to be OCD free. You're going to have no liver problems. You're going to have no diabetes. You're not going to have cholesterol. You're not going to have high blood pressure. You're not going to have osteoarthritis. This is my life, you see. All them things I just named. Plus a few more. Um, but anyway, listen. If you do like this kind of thing, please hit the subscribe because it would mean the world to me. Um, I am going to do a giveaway, but I'm going to do it in my next video, which is going to be my Vinted Part 2 haul. And I'm going to do a giveaway, my um, massager. Do you remember the face massager? Oh, my belly's starting to hurt. Now, listen, so I want to make this quick. Um, the face massager, I'm going to put that in with a couple of other, maybe a couple of other bits and bobs. So listen, uh, please hit the like, subscribe. Please share whatever you want to do. Love you all very much. And I'll see you in my next video. I've got to go. Bye.